ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਬਾਬਾ ਗੁਰਬਖਸ਼ ਸਿੰਘ ਹੀ ਇਸ ਫਰਮ ਅ ਪੈਂਡ ਕਾਲ ਲੀਲ ਇਟਸ ਵਿਥਿਨ ਦ ਡਿਸਟ੍ਰਿਕਟ ਆਫ ਅੰਮ੍ਰਿਤਸਰ ਐਟ ਦ ਏਜ ਆਫ 11 ਇਨਸਪਾਇਰਡ ਬਾਈ ਪਾਈ ਮਨੀ ਸਿੰਘ ਹੀ ਸਟਾਰਟਡ ਅਟੈਂਡਿੰਗ ਸੰਗਤ ਐਟ ਅਨੰਦਪੁਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਐਂਡ ਸਲੋਲੀ ਸਲੋਲੀ ਓਵਰ ਟਾਈਮ ਹਿਸ ਅਮ ਫਾਦਰਸ ਨੇਮ ਇਸ ਪਾਈ ਬਸੋਦਾ and mata's name is mata lakshmi by the soda and mata lakshmi they also were true gursiks they revered guru gobind singh ji from the bottom of their heart and when all three of them would go there it would be 4 years later at the age of 15 baba gurbakh singh would have no parents left on this earth meaning by the soda and mata lakshmi with their faces still glowing from seeing the presence of guru gobind singh ji would leave this world he would be left alone so being left alone he started staying with all the gorsiks at anandpur sahib time to time he would have to go back for uh, to the residence that his parents had left back to him and then he would receive an opportunity to come to a place just like baba deep singh did they didn't get a chance to participate in the wars of anandpur sahib because of a blockade that had been created by the armies as they were laying siege on anandpur sahib but they would retrace their footprints all the way up to an uh, adamdama sahib and then meet guru gobind singh ji there when they find that guru maharaj ji has stopped now in his journeys and now they've all reached there and baba gurbakh singh was such a soul so at age 15 ਪੈਸੋ ਸ਼ਹੀਦ ਮਨੀ ਸਿੰਘ ਭਾਈ ਉਹਨੇ ਹੱਥ ਵੀ ਪੌਹਲ ਪਿਲਾਈ ਹਜੇ ਅੰਮ੍ਰਿਤ ਨਹੀਂ ਛਕਿਆ ਸੀ ਨਾਉ ਕੀ ਮੈਂ ਟਾਈਮ ਦੈਟ ਅੰਮ੍ਰਿਤ ਸ਼ਕ ਨੂੰ ਤਿਆਰ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਐਂਡ ਭਾਈ ਮਨੀ ਸਿੰਘ ਵੁਡ ਇਨਸਪਾਇਰਡ ਹਿਮ ਟੂ ਕਮ ਇਨਟੂ ਸਿੱਖੀ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਹੀ ਵਾਸ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਕਥਾ ਹੀ ਵਾਸ ਪ੍ਰੀਚਿੰਗ ਐਟ ਦੈਟ ਟਾਈਮ ਐਜ਼ ਵੈਲ ਟੂ ਭਾਈ ਮਨੀ ਸਿੰਘ ਵਾਸ ਪਾਰਟ ਆਫ ਦ ਪੰਜ ਪਿਆਰੇ ਐਂਡ ਇਨ ਦ ਪੰਜ ਪਿਆਰੇ ਭਾਈ ਮਨੀ ਸਿੰਘ ਐਜ਼ ਦ ਹੈਡ ਜਥੇਦਾਰ ਪਾਈ ਗੁਰਬਖਸ਼ ਸਿੰਘ ਨੇ ਅੰਮ੍ਰਿਤ ਛਕ ਲਿਆ ਸੀ ਸੋ ਰਿਆਤ ਬੈਤ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਪਰਪੱਕ ਹੋਣ ਲੱਗ ਗਿਆ ਨਾਉ ਹੀ ਸਟਾਰਟਸ ਸਟਿਲ ਐਟ ਅ ਯੰਗ ਏਜ ਸਟਾਰਟਸ ਟੂ ਹੀਅਰ ਆਲ ਦ ਮੀਨਿੰਗਸ ਆਫ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਸਲੋਲੀ ਸਲੀਡੀਫਾਈਂਗ ਇਟ ਇਨ ਹਿਮਸੈਲਫ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਆਫਟਰ ਗੁਰੂ ਮਾਰ ਜੀ ਹੈਡ ਪਰਫਾਰਮਡ ਦ ਪਲਾ ਔਨ ਥਿਸ ਵਰਲਡ ਦ ਗੁੱਡ ਫੋਰ ਥਿਸ ਵਰਲਡ ਬਾਈ ਬ੍ਰਿੰਗਿੰਗ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਇਨਟੂ ਕੰਪਲੀਸ਼ਨ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਲਿਸਨਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਵੈਰੀ ਪਾਰਟ ਇਨ ਅ ਕੰਟੀਨਿਊਅਸ ਫੈਸ਼ਨ ਦੈਨ this will start from where i'm going to move forward on the life of baba gurbakh singh gurbakh singh ne hang ki si suno sujan pai shahidi on bhali pal amrit sar astan this starts how the story that comes in panth prakash by ratan singh pangu wala he writes baba gurbakh singh ne hang and where ne hang this one shabd ne hang without ego nihang nu magrmach vi keh dende hai calling it a uh, a alligator imlai divan nit rahe nihang nihang kahave so purush dukh sukh manne na ang jim dukh sukh dehi na manne us keh bidehi chang that those gurus six that had listened to the translation and guru gobind singh ji recite that gurbani they became bideh mukh deh means body but they means without body meaning that they without the sense is of your body meaning that you literally have separated in terms of soul and body now you know what is soul and what is your body we can't say that at this stage in our life a lot of us we can't say all we know and we know we're far if we're calling ourselves just this body but certain times marji gives us sparks and you start to realize there is something inside of me that's energizing this body which is called a soul and when you completely recognize yourself as a soul not just by merely saying it through kamai and practicing it you actually know that this is your soul and this is your body that's when you're badeh mukt and that's why what will be suffered on your body or enjoyed by the body as peaceful times or you can say sukh or painful times as dukh that dehi na manne 
Your body will not experience it. Because you're not of this body, not of the five elements anymore. These Gorsik, such as Baba Gurbak Singh, had become enlightened in that manner. They're pushed away and understood, here's the body, here's the soul. I'm not this body, I am the soul. They had come to that realization. It's easily said. This is Kamai. And they're fortunate and blessed to be within that Sangat that were able to hear from the first ang to the, uh, the final ang of Guru Granth Sahib Ji, recited and translated. Khalsa Ji, this is a translation for Nihang, becoming Bade Mukt, is what Ratan Singh says. And he says, that's why I put this as saying Baba Gurbak Singh or Gurbak Singh Nihang, because he was one of the Bade Mukts of that time. And through his Rath Bath, there is also re- written Neel Bastar Rakhe Rahat Chang would adorn blue chole and then get up in the early Amrit Vele mornings, right? The last quarter before the sunrise. He get up at that time, do his Soch Shnan, and then as he's doing his Shnan, starts reciting Gurbani, Kare Snan, Simr Prabhapana. Right? Kar isnan. While you're doing ishnan, remember the Lord. And as he does, completes his ishnan, right? Back then, no showers, right? You would have to go to a flowing river. A flowing river that's being renewed by more water that's coming from the mountaintops. There you do ishnan. And then after, as he starts his nithnim, then completing his nithnim as he sajaz is damalla. And sarablo ki rachahamne. And then on his body, the same love for Sarablo that he had by placing on his head, he placed all over his body. Sunjo ponda ondasi. Sunjo meaning armor. And then armor that would be placed on the uh, uh, armor on the body and the arm. And then also on top of it, Badi Badi Kirpan, Tege Rakhdesi, Dotar Khanda, meaning double edged sword, Khanda. This he would keep in his possession and he also had a pistol. A pistol that he had on him at all times. So this was how Baba Gurbakh Singh dressed himself at Amrit Vela. And he, while he would be doing so, he would be reciting his nith name, which would be memorized. And as he would complete his dress, he would sit down in posture and go into a deep meditative state, which I've told you is called Samadhi. How did he become the Jathadar of the Taksal, the second Jathadar? Right? And what earned him the right of being called Shaheed? So Gurbani meanings and pronunciations. Though he had a role model, the person who inspired him was Pai Mani Singh. Well, at one point after Damdama Sahib, Guru Gobind Singh Ji had told him that where other Guru Sikhs had some had left their bodies and said that this is enough. Now Guru, Ma- Guru Maharaj Ji has given them permission and such kind of istan te chale jande si. But inside of them, in those 48 Gorsiks, Adam Dama Sahib, there were some with the tamanna or itcha or desire that I want to do some more seva. I want to do more seva, service. Right? Some here, I know you're familiar with this, certain Gorsiks here, that just like Baba Thakur Singh, who always within Sangat, if you saw that even if you're trying to do seva for him by calling him to your house, he was doing seva of you by vritaing prashade and fair of shakana magro. And when Baba Hari Singh and Dawewale asked him that, Nay Baba Ji, to see a nimahan hasti mani prashada to twaila na, I should be doing seva of you. And then he recited that nay. But Dima Purshanu, meaning Baba Gurbachan Singh, he told him that, he said that you can come too now if you want to leave this earth at this time. He said that no, I. I wish, if I have your permission, to stay and serve this panth, to have, to service this panth. Baba Deep Singh had the same mentality. Baba Thakur Singh had the same mentality, as did Baba Gurbaksh Singh. They had a mentality. They still wanted to do his service, and because Echa Furisi onnde dimag devich, Maharaj granted it. They had the kamai. When you have kamai, Maharaj doesn't take an instant. He already granted for you. Guru Gobind Singh Ji told Baba Gurbaksh Singh these words. 
ओके श्री गुरु की आज्ञा मनी मनी सिंह गुण धाम श्री गुरु बख्श मृगेश पत कह अर्थ अबराम गो गुरु महाराज जी आग्या है सच गुरु महाराज जी की आग्या महाराज जी खमैन ओनू मनी मनी मीनिंग कह रहा है बेई इट एंड मनी सिंह गुण धाम भाई मनी सिंह इज द होम धाम मीनस घर मीनिंग होम एंड गुण मीनस virtues he is the home of all virtues of sikhi in that one gursik shaheed bhai mani singh you can see all the virtues of sikhi go learn from him first of all he had been inspired by mani singh now guru maharaj is directing him towards bhai mani singh mrges means singh means lion it's just another a uh, way of saying lion and sri guru baksh mrges pat the honorable honorable pat meaning honorable uh, baba gurbak singh kahe arth abram then he learned the meanings of gurbani inside of him may the beautiful meanings abram means sundar sundar kahe arth abram phir arth karan lag gaya pai mani singh to sikhya prapt kiti and then shaheed pai mani singh would direct him to baba deep singh at times So now Baba Deep Singh had three students of his, caste students. It would be Baba Gurbak Singh, Pai Diwan Singh, and Pai Baba Pai Gurdayal Singh. Three Pai Diwan Singh, Gurdayal Singh, Baba Gurbak Singh. Baba Deep Singh's students. Baba Deep Singh's Janam Din went by this week, as you all know. So I wanted to tell you that his kurbani to this month is not just by giving his head; it's by what he taught also. Right? Well, there is, he brought these students, and through these students, this order called the Taksal would move forward. So Baba Gurbak Singh, learning the meanings, now what did he start doing? He started writing pothiya. He started preparing Guru Granth Sahib Ji's sroops. I know there's some inside of you, but very few. How many that actually take up the pen and then try writing out Gurbani? And he used to prepare pothiya. and ye koi adhikari jan hove if there is a servant deserving and he has love and there will be satkar then these gotke sahibs would have be handed out baba sham singh of amritsar right he did the same too back then all the gotke sahibs used to be written shop de koi nahi hunde si meaning that in a printing press they used to be written out and then people would go to these gursikhs to obtain it and these gursikhs wouldn't just hand it out ਸੇ ਆ ਲੋ ਹੁਣ ਬਾਣੀ ਪੜੋ ਆਏ ਨਹੀਂ ਪੁੱਛ ਕੇ ਪੜਨ ਨੂੰ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਸੀ ਸਤਕਾਰ ਕਰੋਗੇ ਨਿਤ ਪੜੋਗੇ ਅਭਿਆਸ ਕਰੋਗੇ ਦੈਨ ਥੀਸ ਗੁੱਡ ਕੇ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਵਿਲ ਫਾਈਂਡ ਅ ਪਲੇਸ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਇਟ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਪਦੀ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਦੀ ਸੁਧਾਈ ਕਰੋ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਕਮ ਬੈਕ ਆਫਟਰ ਅ ਵੀਕ ਔਰ ਅ ਮੰਥ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਆਈ ਵਿਲ ਗਿਵ ਯੂ ਥਿਸ ਗੁੱਡ ਕੇ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਸੋ ਥੀਸ ਪੀਪਲ ਵੁਡ ਵਰਕ ਹਾਰਡ ਇਨ देयर ਲਾਈਫ ਫੋਰ ਅ ਮੰਥ ਬਾਈ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਜੋੜਿਆਂ ਦੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਸਚ ਸੇਵਾ ਕਲੀਨਿੰਗ ਅਪ देयर ਲਾਈਵਸ cleaning up their homes quitting eating meat pushing away a fame or intoxicants and then they would go back to those gorsiks and then ask for that gurka sahib they would earn respect for that gurka sahib before they obtained that gurka sahib so that was just going off on a tangent but he prepared both tian and writing out gurbani and reciting gurbani inside of your head having an appreciation of that you can only get if you start doing yourself so i'll leave it at that is that he solidified meanings solidified pronunciation under the guidance of shahid bhai mani singh under the guidance of shahid baba deep singh now sangat ek samay bujhti sab taah sri mani singh bujhai sri gur bakh singh suni ਸ੍ਰੀ ਮਤ ਸੂਰਤ ਸਿੰਘ ਲਖਾਏ ਨਾਉ ਆਪ ਇਨਾ ਨਪੁੰਨ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਇਨ ਰਾਈਟਿੰਗ ਆਊਟ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ ਰਿਸਾਈਡਿੰਗ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ ਅੰਡਰਸਟੈਂਡਿੰਗ ਐਂਡ ਟ੍ਰਾਂਸਲੇਟਿੰਗ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ ਐਂਡ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਪ੍ਰਚਾਰ ਦੈਟ ਨਾਉ ਹੀ ਹੈਡ ਐਨ ਓਪਰਚੁਨਿਟੀ ਦੈਟ ਇਫ ਪਾਈ ਮਨੀ ਸਿੰਘ ਇਜ਼ ਟ੍ਰਾਂਸਲੇਟਿੰਗ ਪਾਈ ਗੁਰਦਾਸ ਜੀਸ ਵਰਕ ਵਿਚ ਇਜ਼ ਕਾਲਡ ਦ ਗਿਆਨ ਰਤਨਾਵਲੀ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਪਾਈ ਗੁਰਦਾਸ ਸਿੰਘ ਪਾਈ ਗੁਰਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਹੋਇਆ 
He is a Gursikh of Guru Arjan Dev Ji that had scribed Guru Granth Sahib Ji or Ad Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Then he had also written himself Pai Gurdas Ji uh, Vara and Kabir. And Pai Gurdas Ji's Vara, the first var and the tenth var, first and tenth, Pai Mani Singh translated under the permission of Guru Gobind Singh Ji. One of them is written as Gyan Ratanavali. It's called Gyan Ratanavali. When he was writing and reciting it, right, the translations, it was Baba Gurbak Singh listening to it. And who was writing it out after and embedding it in himself is the third Taksal Jathadar. His name is Surat Singh, Pai Surat Singh. Because now he's sitting as a student of Baba Gurbak Singh. There's one side he's listening and now his student is writing it out. So he's I'm carving out a Gursikh inside of himself. This is the handwriting of Pai Mani Singh on a pothi. This is Guru Maharaj Ji Sakhiya that Pai Mani Singh has written out, right, from Gyan Ratanavali, as shown to you in the background. Now, Baba Gurbachan Singh Pindramwale from the Taksal, Sri Gurmukh Prakash, writes When 1708 happened, 1708, do you guys remember what that is? That's the time in Nandir, in the south of India, where Guru Gobind Singh Ji would pass on the Gurta Gadi, the Guruship, to Guru Granth Sahib Ji. And then before, before passing on the Jyot, or you can say that moving on in form, Maharaj Ji Jyoti Jyot Samon Lagesi, before going into the funeral pyre, he would instruct certain Gursikhs. Mani Singh, Har Mandar Seva Kare Jai Kar. He had already sent Pai Mani Singh with Mata Sundar Kaur to go to Delhi. And then after Pai Mani Singh had instructions, Pai Mani Singh, you're the Jathadar of Akal Takht Sahib. And the main head Granthi there as well. Right? It would be under Pai Mani Singh, that Seva. Deep Singh, Dam Dame, Jane Manalin hai. His mind was absorbed in Guru Gobind Singh Ji, Baba Deep Singh Jere Khadesi, Onu Kadita to see on Dam Dame Sahib Chaljao, Guru Gobind Singh Ji, Stara Sawat the Witch. Guru Bak Singh, Sri Anandapuri, Rehe. So, Manturjo Tonu Age, I want you to gain a bit more knowledge and know all these names. Eventually, I'll get to Pai Santok Singh, Marji Kirpa Kare to tell about his Jeevan as well. But the next name in here is Baba Gurbaksh Singh. Baba Gurbaksh Singh nu kya dita hun tusi jao Ananda Puri. Ananda Di Puri. That Guru Maharaj had left and never came back. You go back there. Remember that the army had followed Guru Gobind Singh Ji. And they had left everything back in shamals at Ananda Puri Sahib. Baba Gurbaksh Singh nu duri mili to restore everything in the same shine that it was once with Guru Gobind Singh Ji. Right? There was a granth, a huge granth, that was lost in the Sarsa Nadi. It was called Vidya Sar. And there are certain pages that were uh, preserved Baba, by Baba Gurbak Singh that later on would be brought into our Ithyas. And I'm going to share with you a poem that was found at Anandapur Sahib as well. That under the guidance of Baba Gurbak Singh, because Guru Gobind Singh Ji had given him a thapada and said, you go to Anandapur Sahib. You are the Jathadar of Anandapur Sahib. Pai Santok Singh Abchal Keen hai. Abchal Nagar. Abchal Nagar refers to Sri Azur Sahib. Pai Santok Singh, you stay here and you light the funeral pyre. Pai Santok Singh was given the duty of lighting the funeral pyre, even though he couldn't. Maharaj, you would have to light it himself. Nevertheless, Pai Santok Singh's duty was to stay Sri Azur Sahib, Abchal Nagar. Baki Sab Singh. Then Maharaji looked towards the rest of the Pant that was standing there. Baki Sab Singh, Lakho Dushtang Se Jang Kare, Naam Aap Jape Te Jipave Maskeen. What did Guru Gobind Singh Ji say? That Bathere Dusht Hegyas Duniya Devich. There's plenty of injustice and evil running rampant on this earth. Go now. Go now, I tell you, to go fight this injustice. Khalsa made a rupe khas. I fought it 
and you are my very form. You fight it now. Gives us instructions not to just go hide in your homes and then wait and say that, no, I'm going to let it pass, let injustice go by. No, you go fight it. Here's Mangal Kavi. When Baba Gurbak Singh would go back, the patre, or you can say some copies of Vidyasar, a huge granth of the poets, 52 poets of Guru Gobind Singh Ji and their work, literature and gyan beyond this world, and maybe that's why it wasn't meant for the world. Literature that had gyan that's so much for this world that people would not be able to tolerate it. That it, it was God's will that it would go within the Sarsa Nadi. But some things Maharaj had preserved to let people know about this work. And when it was preserved, Kavi Santok Singh found it at Anandpur Sahib and he included it in. And I'm going to share with you about Anandpur Sahib. Puran Purkh Avatar An Lean Aap Jaake Darbar Man Chitve So Paiye He is the incarnation of the complete Lord Almighty. By going to his court in Anandpur Sahib, whatever the mind seeks is obtained. Mangal Kavi tells you about his experience. He says, Man, Jithe Si, where I was when I went to his court, I found that anything I desired was completed. It's about faith. It's about Sikhi Siddiq. Mangal Kavi says, as he goes to Maharaj's court, Kat kat basi ab nasi naam jako jag Karta karnhaar soi dikhraiye He resides within everybody. I tell you though, we go to Anandpur Sahib. Those Gursikhs went to Anandpur Sahib to find Guru Gobind Singh Ji, but they found Guru Gobind Singh Ji sitting in everybody. They went to find Guru Gobind Singh Ji at Nandpur Sahib, but Maharaj Ji ki dikha ditta, kaat kaat basi, that Maharaj Ji is sitting in everybody. And Abhinasi Naam Jako Jag, that his name is indestructible. The world is destructible, but his name is an indestructible. Karta Karnhar Soi Dikharaiye. Within the world, the very creator and the cause of all things can be seen through him. That within this world, through his name, you can see that Paramatma is the creator and how he's causing things to happen. Everything is within his command. When you reach that avasta, it's bismad. It's just this wonderful state that you can't explain within worldly words. And the last part of the kavta, this is a huge kavta. I'm just taking it out to explain what by Mangal Singh, what by Mangal Kavi has seen through Anandpur Sahib. Nome Gore Nand Jagband. He says that to the Saiv Jada, Nand means son. Nome means ninth. Ninth Guru, Nand means son, Jagband, meaning that are my salutations. Before the ninth Guru's Saiv Jada, Guru Govind Singh Ji. Teg Tyag Pure. He has complete skills of wielding a sword. Tega. Tega Hathadeo Chove. He has complete skill in using it. And Tyag Pure, that he's detached from the world too. Pai Mangal has said this before the time that the Saib Jade had left, right? Before they became martyrs. Maharaj illustrated how he had this Tyag. It wasn't he shed tears when his sons passed away on the battlefield or at, uh, uh, in Sarhand in brick walls. No, he says that Marji had that detachment and he's teaching it to his Gorsiks. So, Mangal so kabke hai, Mangal so thai hai. That he says with complete skill, from the world, this Mangal poet recites a Mangal of happiness. Using his name and what his name means, he says that main tonu Mangal khushi da ga ke tonu das raha. I'm telling you a Mangal of happiness of Singing out praises of Guru Gobind Singh Ji. Anand ko data Guru Sahib Gobind Rai. Chahe so Anand pur aaye. Jine darshan kite Guru Gobind Singh Ji de. O likh reha. In the 52 uh, poets of Guru Gobind Singh Ji. He says, the master of true bliss. I tell you there is no other bliss. He is the true bliss. Not temporary. The permanent bliss. My beloved Guru. Guru Gobind Rai Sahib. 
Right? Guru Gobind Singh Ji was recognized as Guru Gobind Rai before 1699. When I seek, when I seek bliss or anand, all I need to do is come to your city. Chahe so anand pur aye. Je anand chonea fe is shahar de vich ao. Because what's resonating there, Anand Purasaib, is Naam. Naam, Paramatma's Naam. So this was just a little illustration, and I want to move forward with Baba Gurbakh Singh's life. Later on now, as they were serving their Jathadaris, their duties in different places, Baba Gurbakh Singh, I told you, is at Anand Purasaib. Sheed Pai Mani Singh is taking, uh, doing the duty of serving the Panth by taking care of the a prestigious place that we know as Akal Takht in Sri Harmandir Sahib, and Pai Santok Singh, Abchal Nagar, and ba Dam Dama Sahib, Baba Deep Singh. Now, Shaheed Pai Mani Singh, his he had sacrificed his life and attained martyrdom, became Shaheed when Zakriya Khan had said that these Gorsiks get rejuvenated. They get empowered when they go to Amritsar Sahib. I put a tax and I put people are restricted from going to Amritsar Sahib. And when did they typically go? They used to go on Bandi Shor Divis a lot. Bandi Shor Divis, people would fill Amritsar Sahib as they do today. Zakaria Khan telling people you can't come to Amritsar Sahib. And now, by Mani Singh says that one day, give us one day on Bandi Shor Divis, where Guru Sikhs can come here and celebrate the sixth Guru, that we'll give you, we'll give you a, a, a lot of money in return. Just grant us one day. Zakriya Khan turned out that he was bought out this way, that he got greedy and he said, Chalo, I'll get money in return. And then Upro he started thinking that I'll get money from them, but at the same time, through the outskirts of the city, when Gursikhs come, it doesn't mean that they'll reach Amritsar Sahib. So, on one side, Hor Vigardgyas, he got corrupted and started thinking that there are still now Pai Mani Singhs inviting Gursikhs that you can come for Bandishwar Divits, it's safe. But when Pai Mani Singh found out about the treachery about Zakri Khan, he started warning, don't come to Harmandir Sahib. Don't come to Harmandir Sahib. It's a trap set up by Zakri Khan. And when this word went out, the peta or the money the Sangat was gonna, the Sangat was going to bring, he had no money to give to Zakriya Khan. Right? Now Zakri Khan issues the arrest of Pai Mani Singh and gives him the same temptations that all the other Sheeds had witnessed when they had been captured. Accept Islam, we'll give you property, and do this and that. Well, he said, no, I can't do that. Reciting Sukhmani Sahib, he was cut from every joint up. And Sukhmani Sahib, though he hadn't completed by the time uh, he had been cut up joint to joint, but he did complete when his, uh, uh, all the pieces of Shaheed Pai Mani Singh were lying in a basket, soaked in blood. Still Sukhmani Sahib was being recited out by Shaheed Mani Singh. Now Shaheed Mai Mani Singh, as you know, as this word might have gone out in the Panth, how people would have, it would have hit him hard that this is a Gursik from the time of Guru Gobind Singh Ji and he's no longer with us. In spirit, yes, but no longer for his guidance then we can turn to Amritsar Sahib. Now the position of Jathadari at Amritsar Sahib is empty. And now Amritsar Sahib, you can imagine how many times Ahmed Shah Durrani or Ahmed Shah Abdali from the dynasty of the Duranis, that's why he's been called Durani, that he attacked at Amritsar Sahib. He had come so many times, and on his way to Delhi, he would go to, towards Amritsar Sahib, and Gursik stood up. Gursik fought him off, and he found out that there was what they were a force to reckon with. So he would ask Zakriya Khan about them. He would be dismayed and astounded that these people can live way out in the jungles and up in the mountains and then they can gather themselves and come back and fight off all the things that I'm trying to gather from India. They're a big problem for me. This is Ahmed Shah Abdali. 
letting the people know that he's having difficulty with them. And back then, they had a nickname for Agora 6. For our six, they used to call us Sug. And what that translates to is dog. I'm going to tell you in a book published by um, a priest that he used to uh, go to for guidance. His name is Kazi Nur Muhammad. He wrote a book called Sug, meaning talking about us, talking uh, about us using the title of a dog. And in it, all he could do is salute us. He said that these people, they don't deserve the title of dog. They deserve the time, title of lion. And that's what their Guru Sahib gave them, the title of the lion. Sing Singhaniya. At times that when they would come and attack us, I thought doomsday is here. I thought the apocalypse has come. We're all going to perish now. When they would come upon us. And when I would look, it would be a, a handful of Gorsiks. And we would be in thousands, and yet fear is stricken through us from our head to our toes. He would write this, and I'm going to share another passage of Baba Gurbaksh Singh um, later on, after I finish his uh, jeevan. So Baba Gurbaksh Singh heard about Pai Mani Singh. And Pai Mani Singh was responsible for the duties at Darbar Sahib. He used to do Katha in Sri Harmandar Sahib. Now some of you might think, well, there used to be Katha done in Sri Harmandar Sahib. There's a Shabd of Guru Arjan Dev Ji that he mentions there used to be Katha done in Sri Harmandar Sahib. After Kirtan, Katha used to happen in Sri Harmandar Sahib. And this was carried on after by Baba Gurbaksh Singh. He used to do the Katha after. Then it was carried on by another student of Baba Deep Singh. His name is Pai Diwan Singh. When it went to Pai Sant Singh, Sant Singh is a Gursik from the time of Maharaja Ranjit Singh. After that, the Gursiks did a Gurmata. They said that, Harmandir Sahib, let's leave for Kirtan. And where Gurdwara Manji Sahib is, where Guru Arjan Dev Ji had recited Bara Maha, that's where we'll move Katha now, the Dawan for Katha. So after that point, and by Sant Singh also being a Jathadar of the Tiksal, after that point, Katha stopped at Sri Harmandir Sahib, inside of Sri Harmandir Sahib. And it became just solely reciting, reciting Gurbani and performing Kirtan and Ardas within Sri Harmandir Sahib. So after a long breakage of uh, no, do, uh, no Katha, because by Mani Singh had become martyred, then under the, under the pleas or you can say requests of Gursiks, Baba Gurbaksh Singh came to Sri Harmandir Sahib, started doing Katha, started doing the Seva, of Jathadari there. Now, here, near the final days of Baba Gurbak Singh, he passed on the, the order or the taksal that Guru Gobind Singh Ji had started of the meanings right, that Guru Gobind Singh Ji had recited of Ad Siri Guru Granth Sahib Ji. He had passed it on. And this is a, preserved in our history. Gurbak Singh Vach. Passing the Jathadari now to Pai Surat Singh. This is Dohra. Sri Gur Gobind Singh Ko Sri Mukhavakso Eh Ad Granth Ke Arth Jag Pargat Karo Kar Neh. Now he passes the Jathadari on. Right? Seeing that his, his final days are coming, Baba Gurbaksh Singh being enlightened and he knows the final days are coming and he's going to attain Shahidi, he passes the Jathadari on to the next by Surat Singh, which I already mentioned, and he told him, Ad Granth Ke Arth, the Ad Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji's meanings, translations, that this world should hear, Jag Pargat Kare, Karo, that go within the world and reveal them. Pargat means reveal them. Aayna Kade Ho Jave, that Je Arth Tha, Guru Gobind Singh Ji De, Sade Ta Ki Seemat Reh Jaan. Those meanings, let it not be that it stays just within us. Let it pass on. Let it go within the world. Share it within the world. Look at the age we're in. And at this time, it's availability of these arts through Katha and now what people are writing down, it can be translated through the people of this order, of this tiksa. So, Jag Pargat Karo Kar Nehe. He says, don't just reveal it to the world. Reveal it with the love that you have of Guru Gobind Singh Ji. 1765, Ahmed Shah Abdali has 
now come for his tenth of invasions. The invasions used to come from towards Afghanistan, the Persian lands, through Khyber Pass, through the mountains of Pakistan, and then making their way through Punjab and go towards Delhi. Every time any invader has come, they pass through Punjab. And when people come to Punjab, from Lahore, they would come to Amritsar Sahib. Baba Deep Singh has become Shaheed. Pai Mani Singh has become Shaheed. Now the second Jathadar of the Taksal, also the Jathadar of Akal Takht at that time, he is now, he became informed that Ahmed Shah Abdali has reached Lahore. Now if you don't know your history, you wouldn't be concerned and then later on you'd find difficult time before you because you didn't take um, opportunity to learn your history. They'd seen a pattern. Ahmed Shah Abdali is coming. If he's reached Lahore, he's coming to Amritsar Sahib. And Ahmed Shah Abdali knew that after Pai Mani Singh, there is a gathering there of Gur Sikhs at Amritsar Sahib, and he didn't want that. He didn't want any power, and he knew that to be the source of power of Gur Sikhs. He said, I don't want that to happen. So now, as the news of Ahmed Shah Abdali has reached Baba Gurbaksh Singh, He's called uh, a meeting, a Pantik meeting. He called all the Gorsiks together. And as the Gorsiks all united together, he told them that tomorrow, tomorrow, we, we prepare a wedding party. They're like, Baba Ji, samaj nahi aai. Apa barat tiyar karniya, jan tiyar karniya kalno. They're like, what are you talking about? Kida vya? Kida saare de vya hona? Baba Gurbak Singh says that kalno, apa maut nu vya hona. That tomorrow we're going to wed death on the battlefield. How many of you are up to this task? Some people, meaning that the tarti shook underneath their feet, that they became afraid. As Baba Gurbaksh Singh gave him that time to think about it, so many ran off. A lot of them just ran off. In the middle of the night, they ran off. And who remained? 30 Gorsiks. 30 Gorsiks. And on the side of Ahmed Shah Abdali, they're receiving numbers of 10,000. Some are going up to 30,000. And in our historical records, that's what the number was, 10 to 30,000. But that number is huge, especially when it's only this 30 strong Gorsiks. But what happened is there was a point of Baba Gurbakh Singh mentioning it out the night before the preparations. He mentioned it out because he wanted to see jere naam abhyas wale jere chardi kala de vich ya unna ne ni pajna unna nu mauka disna because the time of shidi is the time when such khan's doors open up the bue or the doors of such khan open wide up they see an opportunity for themselves 30 strong or six now he didn't want people to be weak if he saw he's falling to the battlefield he didn't want to see another person running away from the battlefield. Je agge kadam puttea pichinu na trang karo. Meaning don't run away. If you put your foot forward, go forward then. Complete yourself in the task that you have committed to. So the next morning, Amrit Vela happens. Gorsiks all get up together. They all collectively go towards Dukh Panjani Bear and start doing Ishnan there. All of them are doing Ishnan. After they come out, they start re, re, uh, reciting Kodiya. Kodiya is a bani of Guru Arjan Dev Ji in Ragvad Hans in Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Kodiya is also a shabd used in India at the time when the wedding party of the boy leaves their hometown. So Kodiya because the boy or the groom would get up on top of a horse and then would ride out. So Ishnan Kita because at Amrit Vela, these people, even worldly people, get up on the time of the wedding and then they'll rub this paste on the, uh, the boy and then they'll sing their own songs, right? They'll wake people up early in the morning. But now Baba Gurbak Singh, though he's not performing any of those worldly things, he's doing it through Gurmat. He's that today I'm going out to wed death. And he does Ishnan and as he prepares himself, that day he had specially sewn new kapre. He was actually taking this in a literal stance that I'm actually going out for my wedding. Name kapre pai. 
And they all gather now at Akal Takht Sahib after doing Ishnan and reading out Gurbani Pankhtiyan from Kodiyan, which I'm going to get you to read out too. Gurmukh Par Langai, Gurmukh Par Langai. Gurmukh Par Langai, Gurmukh Par Langai. Bikham Poyanga Anitataranga, Bikham Poyanga Anitataranga. Gurmukh Par Langai, Gurmukh Par Langai. Bikham Poyanga Anitataranga, Bikham Poyanga Anitataranga. Gurmukh Par Langai, Gurmukh Par Langai. And it's a bainti too, that's such a pasha. There is a difficult world ocean that lies before me. There is a frightening world ocean with so many things and difficulties and obstacles. On top of it, Anitataranga, there's Vashnava, temptations, vices that are presenting as waves. And how do I, if I have my face towards you, how do I cross over this world ocean? It can present as a bainti too. As these Gorsiks have done Ishnan, at Dukh Panjani Bear, all of them have collected together at Sri Akal Takht Sahib. They have folded their hands and their Jathidar, Baba Gurbaksh Singh, is doing her das. He's doing her das because they've completed their nickname and they've completed reciting Kodiya, this Shabd or this Gurbani, this Gurbani that's Ankit within Raag Vadahans of Guru Granth Sahib Ji. After they have done so, doing her das at Akal Takht Sahib, then distributing Deg amongst the Gursiks. Next, they go towards Sri Darbar Sahib and they do Ardas as well there. As they go to Sri Darbar Sahib, within each of those Gursiks' hands are flower petals. Flower petals, as they're carrying it up all the way up to Darbar Sahib, they do Prakarma around Darbar Sahib. Then, under Pravesh Hoke, Unnane Uthivi Ardas Kiti. They did an Ardas, a plea. They folded hands. Baba Gurbak Singh read it out and he said, Satguru Satche Pasha, eh, Deen, Deal, Satguru Sikhi Sang Nibe, Sees Kesan Ke Saat. I ask of you that as we go on to the battlefield today, I ask our hair and our Sikhi remain intact. I ask of you one more thing, Satche Pasha, give us the power that these Zalim, these criminals that are coming to your door, now with a good intention that they don't do any biyadbi of Sri Ramandar Sahib. Baba Gurbak Singh completes his ardas and then pours flower petals on Guru Granth Sahib Ji and now makes his leave. As they all collect together, the 30 Singhs now go to the balcony on the top floor of Akal Tak Sahib and await the Gursiks. And they do Kirtan of Kordiya again. Oh, whole night passes, Ran Sabai, meaning all night they did, they did Kirtan of Kodiya, of Shabs, that they're going to be wed tomorrow. And now, on the break of dawn, at the horizon, they see dust flying up, they feel the march of thousands of soldiers, and now they come down from Akal Takht Sahib, they do namaskar to their Shastars, they grasp them in their hands, arrows, spears, tegas, huge swords, all collectively they've gathered, now they've come to the backside of Akal Takht Sahib. And as they see the enemy approaching, they start riding out. They start riding out, and it would be only moments before the first clashes started happening. And as Ghazi Noor Muhammad has said, he said that that day I realized, no, they don't deserve to be called dogs. They deserve to be called lions. That's why they're called Singh Singhania. That day I saw they came on us like we're deers, 
As they came on us in all directions, we got scattered. All 10,000 to 30,000 strong. This army had to back up and flee back to regather themselves for another strike. They started moving back. And as they would move back, Baba Gurbak Singh says, Dekho Singho, and then Shadanani. Let them know today, from this day forth, they don't come back to Siddhi and Mandir Sahib. This day, they see, they see the roar of a lion on the battlefield. Literally, they saw it. Baba Gurbak Singh was meeting him head on, over and over again. But time to time, one Singh would fall. Their numbers would decrease, but again, they would come forward. And that day, the army of 10 to 30,000 of Ahmed Shah Abdali that had a lieutenant general, he saw this and he said, no, 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 don't try to fight him head on. I've seen this. Fight him from afar. You have guns. You have cannons. You have long spears. Attack at him with this. Well, they would move forward and they would see that whether bullets are pierced in him, whether arrows are sticking out of their limbs, they're still swinging their sword over and over again, and they're not stopping. They don't know what to do. Again, they would have to push back. They're not moving closer to Siddhi and Mandir Sahib. They're moving closer to Lahore, the way they keep running. And every time the Jathadar, Baba Gurbak Singh, would call to him and say that, no, and no, no, apu shardana ni aj, apu kise nu ni shardana, go at him over and over again. Keep getting him. Turn him towards yourself and ask him to fight before you. Tell them not to be cowards. Fight them face on and you would keep fighting them on and on until a point came when Baba Gurbak Singh's body, there was wounds where there was blood spewing out. His whole kapre that he had adorned, new and fresh on this day, were stained with blood, had gone completely red on the battlefield. He stands with arrows sticking out in all directions. Bullets have gone in that you can't count no longer because they had come from all directions, and spears have pierced him. All around him, there's a circle of spears, long spears that people have struck into him. What is he doing? He's weaving his way out of him, like a person does with a machete in a jungle, cutting vines, while he's cutting away spears to go at people and cutting their heads off. As this is being done, the general says, oh, what are you doing? Take his head off. As the spears are pierced in him, they would move forward and cut the head off of Baba Gurbak Singh. The head would fall, but it's not the end of the story. The spiritual strength of Baba Deep Singh was in Baba Gurbak Singh. His head lie on one side. Kya pyo? What has happened? Josis Gail, what has happened if the head is gone? That doesn't mean the story ends here. Aju Tarnala Sis Raheo. Remember, he came out of Darbar Sahib with an Ardas. He came out with the power of Ardas. And that Asis, which is called blessing, is still sits with him even if his head is gone. The blessing is still upon him. So that day, the Ahmed Shah Abdali's army saw that when they took the spears out, the body didn't fall. The body stood. There's no head on this body. It's still attacking those individuals. And when they would all rewind back and then try to look back and see if the body has fallen, it's still standing guard of Akal Takh Sahib. On the back side of Akal Takh Sahib, still standing guard. All the rest of the Gursikhs have become Shaheed, such as Pai Nihal Singh. They've fallen to the ground. And there stands the Tar, the headless body of Baba Gurbak Singh, fighting off. And he had said, Singh, so pichli taraf ko fere nan so na hai. He had been of a mentality that he would never turn his head. So he kept moving forward. The body kept moving forward. And then at that point, there was a priest with the suba, or you can say the general, the governor general of Ahmed Shah Abdali. He turned to him, are you crazy? Don't you see what's happening? We've all rubbed our eyes enough times to see this is actually happening. Go and fall on his feet and tell your group to back off and retreat. Fall on his feet and beg for forgiveness. Well, at that point, he called everybody off and the general went and fell at the feet of Baba Gurbak Singh. He dropped all of his weapons and then at that point, Baba Gurbak Singh's body didn't lift up his weapon at the general approaching. He fell at his feet. He grabbed Baba Gurbak Singh's 
Singh's feet and he asked for Shima, forgive me. We've done something so bad and under my guidance, no longer will we come to Siddhi Darbar Sahib with the intention that we had and they would leave. And as they were leaving and all of them had left, at that point, Baba Gurbak Singh's body fell to the ground. Kasaji, still, there's more to this story because at that time, I want to recite what Kazi Noor Muhammad. Remember that I told you he wrote a book called Sag or Dogs, that these dogs, as the author has called the six, were only 30 in number. 30! They were not even the least bit afraid. They had neither the fear of slaughter nor the dread of death. They grappled with the Ghazis. We had these special groups called the Ghazis that would come forward that weren't afraid of death from our side. And they were running. And in the engagement, split their blood and sacrificed their lives for their guru. This attack was headed by Baba Gurbak Singh in his jatha. And he had pushed off an army of 10 to 30,000 that had been frightened and would say that, no, we can't go back like that. Though it wouldn't be the last attack of Ahmed Shah Abdali, because he wasn't present, he never saw this. He would hear and call this as fear talking inside of you. You're making excuses. When others would say this, Ahmed Shah Abdali would not buy it. In Pant Prakash, Ratan Singh Pangu says something. Baba Gurbak Singh had come into the Pant, inspired by our Gaur Sikh and united with Guru Gobind Singh Ji. Sheed by Mani Singh. So he says, while he lies on the battlefield and his spirit starts to shine outside of his body, meaning that the spirit of Baba Gurbak Singh, the soul of Baba Gurbak Singh is leaving, Chaupi, Mani Singh Ji, I Aap, Karte Granth Gur Bani Jaap. At that time, who came to escort him to Sach Khan? Pai Mani Singh. Shaheed Pai Mani Singh came to Baba Gurbak Singh on the battlefield to escort him up, up towards Sach Khan. Because his spirit had elevated, his spiritual state had elevated to Sach Khan a long time ago. Then after they took the body, they cremated him. And so the Panth would know that there's a general that stood, there was a Jathadar that stood for righteousness. That used to be of the Akal Takht. As you go into Akal Takht, as you go in, go towards the back door. As you go, keep walking. Just walk straight until you come to a door. And that door will be the Shaheed Ganj of Baba Gurbak Singh. And here, Ratan Singh Pangu says something else. He says, what I've seen in my life, those people that have been possessed by spirits and ghosts, if you come here, aisi kala us jaga hoi poot daras teh rehna koi. He said that people are possessed, evil spirits inside of their body. That you come to this place, no evil spirit will step foot in here. They will not step foot into Baba Gurbak Singh Shaheed Ganj. And there his spot is preserved. And Kalsaji, it's a place that resonates of Simran, where people have gone to this spot and done darshan. So Kalsaji, Sama hoye tusi aap darshan karna, because Akal Takht Sahib de vich shastar par darshan ta hundi hai unna de. Jinnane darshan ki te after Rara Sahib at Akal Takht Sahib, they show you a do tara khanda. One is a Baba Deep Singh, and the exact same one is a Baba Gurbak Singh. And they even tell you, they tell you, there's a pistol, this is a Baba Deep Singh. And the exact same model, these are the words of the people that show you the darshan. They say, the exact same model also belongs to Baba Gurbak Singh. They have two pistols there, one belonging to Baba Deep Singh, one belonging to Baba Gurbak Singh. And that's at the spot where Guru Hargobind Sahib Ji used to sit at Akal Takht Sahib. Still to this day, they do darshan from that spot and the belongings of Baba Gurbak Singh Shaheed are still preserved to this day there. If I made any mistakes, please forgive me. Malar pool shamo siri nathana mapat he karunanit das taharo avgun kot pare aparad avagya dokhna nek bicharo jo ham poot kapoot sabhi bid avgun chuk na das chitaro baange ki laj karo mujh he pagwant daya kartaro ho malar mahala panjwa he gobind
हे दयाल लाल रहाओ प्राण नाथ अनाथ सखे हे समर्थ अगम पूर्ण अंध कूप महाप्यान पौड़ी हे अचुत हे पार ब्रह्म हे पूर्ण सर्व मै हे संगी हे निरंकार हे गोविंद हे गुण निदान हे अपरंग पर हर हरे हे संत के सदा संग हे ठाकुर हो दास रो नानक दीजे नाम दान श्लोक आय प्रभ सर नागती एक अखरार मन बस्त वाहे गुरु नाम जहाज है जो सरदा कर सेव दे जो सरदा कर सेव दे वाहे गुरु जी का खालसा वाहे गुरु जी की फतेह